Hello student, in this class we learned some other material editor parameters. If I talk about this scene, four object is placed on a plane with one camera and one light setup. To render metallic or highly shiny object, you need a environment, but there is no environment. So I place a fake environment in the environment tab. I show you. I place a fake environment in this tab. I show you this image. It's a 360 view of interior. You can download this type of images from the Google. The keyword is mentioned on the screen. Now I switch to 3ds Max again. And other setting related to exposure controller. I set physical camera exposure controller and disable the use of physical camera. Then I control the light by using global exposure controller. And you can also change the image controller curve. Last time we create a linear line here with these settings. I close this. And one more thing I place in the top viewport, a color chart. I use this color to create bronze or gold material. First I take a sample render. It's a first test render without applying any material. I place this in the left side and open material editor window. I already prepared some material. This first one for all the scene object with the very low reflections and second for the inner sphere and other sphere for other material object. I give material name here so it's easy to identify. So let's start from the gold material. First I move this little bit left side okay, and then select this object. First I change this physical material to standard surface material. So I click on this and ok. Material is changed. Now I apply this and make changes in the base color. So I close this first and press F4 to show the color chart. Now click on the color box and there is a color picker. Click on this color because we are creating a gold material. So we pick a light color and then click on the OK button. Now this color is nearby gold color. Now we change other parameter. First parameter is advanced and metallic. I place one in the metallic and decrease the roughness value. I place 0.0. 95. There is one more parameter IOR index of reflection for metallic object it should be more than 5 but it takes lot of time to render so I leave this as it is and then click on the render button. Rendering is complete material look very shiny now we change some other parameters. In the options there is a asynotropy parameter. It's changed the reflection behavior. I place this 0.6 and change the rotation 0.25. Then render again. Now you can identify little bit change in the reflection behavior. So main parameter to create a metallic effect. We need a perfect color. Then we add metallic properties from this parameter and index of reflection. It's a very important parameter. You can put more than five for metallic object and the other parameter is roughness. It should be nearby zero. So very sharp reflection is created by the material and the other parameter. You can change the asynotropic value from here and rotation. So it's create a different type of reflection behavior. Now I create bronze and silver material for these object. All the parameter will same only color value and roughness value will change. So first I click on this shader. I already changed the name of this shader and click on this physical material button and select standard surface. First I pick bronze color from here. So I minimize this by eyedropper tool. You can pick color. If you want to make any changes in this color, you can move this slider from the left side or right side. I click on the OK button 
and first I apply this material on this object okay and change the other metal parameters this time I put a reflection value a little bit more so I place 0.1 and in the asynotropy I place same values 0.6 and 0.25 in the rotation and then click on the render button again render is complete if you feel material color is little bit dark so you can make changes in the color properties so I change the color value little bit I move in the right side okay and also change color from the gold okay and then render again Now bronze material is little bit bright and gold material also. Now we apply a silver material on this object. So first I select this object and then select this shader and change properties first. This time I choose white color for silver object and change the other parameters like metalness. And for roughness I choose 1.85. And change the asynotropic values and rotation values and then click on the render button rendering is complete and silver material is look very real now we create two glass shader first is clear glass and second is frosted glass so first I select the object and then click on this shader and change the shader parameters first to create a transparency effect we need to change the transmission values by default value is 0 so there is no transparency if you put 1 it will be 100% transparent but we need some reflection on this surface so I put 0.95 to render a glass object we need to change some render settings so I click on the render setting button and in the render setting in the Arnold rendering tab there is a parameter transmission same as material editor window and we need to change the value of this by default value is 8 but it take longer time to render I reduce 7 and 7 value is sufficient to render a glass object first I increase diffuse sample value so it provide more sharpness in the render I increase up to 4 and increase the ray depth value so it's increase the light bounces so scene will be bright and change specular value also up to 4 now total rays in the scene is 7 plus 4 plus 4 is 15 so I increase ray limit total value is 10 to 15 and then click on the render button render is complete and glass object take more time to render I think our glass material is not very shiny so we have to check the roughness value roughness value is 0.2 so we have to decrease this 0 0.095 and now we change one more parameter when light transfer to a glass object so it create a glowing area around the object that called caustic so we enable the caustic from here and now I create a frosted glass material and then render now I select this object and apply this shader on this and change the shader first okay and change the transmission value to 1 and roughness value 0 0.095 and enable caustic effect for the creating a frosted glass you have to change the extra roughness value from here I put 0.6 in this box apply and then render now 
rendering is complete and after rendering glass object look very shiny and you can also see the frosted glass object it's a basic difference between frosted glass and clear glass so i hope you understand the creation method of gold bronze silver clear and frosted glass material after light and color correction this render look like this if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel and like this video